Hey, Kevin, too cool for you in this Arizona summer? Oh, we're going out to dinner later. This is my dress jacket. I'm still getting used to this Aesop Cutmaster 60i. And now I've got a piece of 5 8 inch plate over here. So I thought, let's do a little speed test. Let's see how fast we can cut that 5 8 plate. So like I said, I've got this piece of 5 8 inch plate steel clamped to my bench right here. I've got one of my little magnetic straight edges set up on it. We'll leave it at 60 amps and make a speed run through it. Let's see how fast we can go. Let's see how smooth it cuts. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. Now let's put a straight edge on it over here. I can't see any daylight through there at all. That came out really, really nice. So now let's go ahead and turn it down to like, oh, 50 amps. Let's try it again. So that was 50 amps, same air pressure. I think I was a little bit slower. You know, I, I was moving just a little bit slower on it, but still really, really nice, nice looking edge. And I'm sure you're saying, well, hey, that's great. Any plasma cutter can make a cut. How about a pierce? You know, I want to put a, like a, a hole in it, put a bolt through or something like that. Okay, let's do it. Well, that's a pretty clean little hole. So that's piercing. Now let's try a long arc. Let's see how, how long of an arc we can hold. Still at 60 amps. I turned it back up to 60 to cut the hole with. So let's just come back into the hole and I'll see how long of an arc I can get and hold as we cut the rest of this off. That worked out pretty well. I think I was about that high up above the metal. That was about three quarters of an inch, I think. And still got a cut like that. Granted, it's not you know perfect, beautiful, smooth like the first two cuts I did where I was just almost right down touching the metal like you're supposed to be. But boy, if you get off into some, some weird little spot somewhere where you're trying to you know sever something, cut something loose, this just lets you know, you don't have to bury this tip all the way inside somewhere to get it to work. You can actually stand off a half an inch and still get the job done. So I'm going to clean this mess up and get on with my day. You're going to reach up there and click on that notification bell so you know what's going on. Don't forget to pop on my website and see what's happening out there also. I'll see you next time. So good, go out, good, blech.